it's interesting because like obviously like you're just early adopter to everything. Cool, we understand that now. So like in terms of you personally, right? Like other interests of yours. I know that we've talked a lot of times. Like you know, how do you think? You know, blockchain and crypto impacts the way you think about it, right? Because like at the end of the day, you're you know thinking about monetizing yourself, your blend, all that stuff rings a lot of bells in mine and obviously his ears as well, Spencer's, uh, being his background. I'm sure everyone here is talking about it. Like, how do you envision it helping you solve some of these issues um, that you see with social media as it stands right now? I mean, if there was a world where like I could post a video and like guarantee it do well and not have to worry about like magical algorithms and just be like okay like this is how it is like i'm in control or whatever and not like some company like tweaking everything i'd be like okay that's cool and even like crypto in general like being able to like monetize and stuff like that and like the money i make from already doing social media and like investing it in other places like i don't know like eth bitcoin like like main coins like that and then also like meme coins if i want to mess around there like that's why i like crypto and I believe in a lot of these projects. Like me, it's like I'm in ETH pretty big. I'm not in Bitcoin. I don't know why. I mean, I probably should probably be. Should. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've just, basically all the money I've been making from social media, I'm like, okay, I want to make more. Like, I don't want to live from brand deal to brand deal. I'm like, I'm going to figure out a way to, no. like, you know, make more money. And then I look at the stock market, I'm like, eh. Like, I want to do something new. I've always Got liked it. doing, like, new things. And I'm always like, okay, well, you look at everything that's been revolutionized, right? Like technology, like cameras, you know, whatever it may be is always like taking the next step. And it's like, all right, what has to take the next step? It's like money, right? It's like, we've had yeah. paper money forever. Like we've had like credit cards and whatnot. Like that's always been there. It's like, there's a, there comes a time where that's going to evolve. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, I may as well hop on it now. Even if, you know, I'm just learning and like I take losses or I take gains. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to hop on it now before, you know, Everyone hops on it because even from experience, like with TikTok or Shorts or whatever it may be, like first mover. it's kind you of be first mover yeah. Finish. It's like yeah, if you're yeah, if you're a first mover and like you yeah. learn it early, like you are already ahead of so many other people. I mean, you're lucky too because you have people that are like in the entertainment industry, like you know Spencer taking bullets, right? Like you know it wasn't cool to be <laughs> it wasn't cool to be in crypto back no, in true. 2017. Mm-hmm. It really that's wasn't. True. And like so, you personally, it. it's it's great because you believe in the technology and and you and you're you're a trader. Your mindset is speculative. That's how you think about it. But you also see the applications of it, right? Like looking at a chosen, right? Or looking at a Chess, right? Like you guys put tons of IP out there that's not yours, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Like when you think about the technology that can be helpful and like NFTs and stuff like that, right? Like mm-hmm. all the stuff that you guys are creating is all stuff that intellectual property that your fans are willing to pay for. Mm-hmm. And right now as it's currently structured, a brand sits in the way of that, or like or, 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 or a channel or a platform or something like that. So like mm-hmm. it just, you know, from my perspective, I think it's just really exciting because like, you know, moving forward, I'm sure Spence could touch on it too. It's, yeah, it's I mean, there's a lot of opportunity gonna, there. Yeah, tonight is going to open up doors where obviously fractional payments and you know continued royalties into into perpetuity are are, are going to just be verified, and you're going to continue to get money. You know, it, a lot of times, um, you know, as, as things kind of start to disappear and, and, and go off into no pun intended the ether because we we're talking about Ethereum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no pun intended. Uh, you know, sometimes monetization opportunities can be lost, right? But if you have yeah. an NFT or, you know, something obviously non fungible token, some verified scarcity like a basketball card, or if you're doing, you know, obviously you're in music, yep. so you got an album or whatever, um, it, it allows for those royalties to continue to go into perpetuity and, and, and never be cut off by, you know, a third party or somebody that seems to have like authority or control. So, you know, I'm extremely excited for that and, and also wanted to plug your music too while I'm at it. Yeah, I mean, I always My appreciate guy. that. Yeah, Y'all yeah. know where to find it. Apple Music, SoundCloud, uh, not on SoundCloud, Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. Yeah. No, that's amazing. Because, I mean, I think it's just, you know, going back to your point and, like, believing the technology and stuff like that, I think it's it, it's going to be those things that people take to, right? Like, you believe in the technology, you think about it. Like, but at the end of the day, right, like, a couple weeks ago, I went and bought a car, just moved out to Los Angeles. I went to a bank to get a check to, like, put the down payment of the car. The bank was closed, so I just had to wait to the next day. Mm-hmm. It was wild yeah. to me that we live a life like this because that's, okay, my grandmother, when she wanted to go to the bank to get money, she had, well, she grew up in Africa, so different. My mom, <laughs> right? Like, my mom yeah. wanted to go to the bank and get money. Like, mm-hmm. if the bank was closed, the bank was closed. That's it, right? Mm-hmm. But the technology exists for it to be as simple as a text message yeah. to be able to transfer that value, right? Mm-hmm. And so, like, I think, you know, that, for whatever reason, it, it sounds crazy to us because we're early adopters, but I think what ultimately is going to happen is like you think about those NFTs, those tokenizing moments, music, things that people feel and touch, right? Like for you, it could be you know, specific clips and things like that that are very helpful and we've seen done really well, right? Like I think that's going to be what helps, you know, bring that to the masses, right? As like an, app, an additional avenue 
um, you know, for the way in which that people can like have these experiences, right? So like, it's just, it's quite exciting. I think it's also good for creators just to be able to monetize what they already have, right? Because like most creators now, right? It's like everyone wants this to be their career, but they're like dependent on like brand deals or this exactly. or that. Like, I mean, you said it. They, they, they messed up the market by being too uh, eager for the money, but they had ways that the, the royalties truly were, you know, verified and also just kind of spun off the content that they created and have to rely on a, you know, a Nike Puma, whatever brand to your, to your point, mm-hmm. to offer them $2,000 and it just kind of rolled in. Um, in a, like I keep saying verify, but just a truly uh, transparent and secure fashion. And yeah, I mean, it, w- it, would be, it would be a lot better for all, all creators. Oh yeah, 100%.